Hey everybody, it's Adam from Tested, and you know how much I love a good unboxing of some Hollywood propage, and that is what is about to happen right here. I have a big box here from our friends at Prop Store of London. Their auction for bits and pieces and parts from the film Ghost in the Shell is up now, and this is a sneak preview of the kind of stuff you're gonna find in that auction. I don't even know what is in this box, but I'm about to find out. There's one, there's two, wrapped in a muslin. There's something else. Ooh, this is heavy as, that's very heavy. Ooh, okay, we have, we have many things here. This is, um, this is a thing. Oh, I feel like there's a costume here because what I've got here is some, lots of, lots of soft parts. Seems to be some kind of tactical vest. <laughs> oh, 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 yep, boots, we got boots. Some tactical boots. Oh, we got, wow, okay. That's everything out of this box. All right, we're gonna start small. What we got here? Oh, I love it when people know how to wrap stuff up. I order stuff on eBay all the time and sometimes it's so wrapped up in packing tape I can easily damage the thing I've bought just by opening it. This is, wow, so it's like a replacement part for one of the Hanka, Hanka Robotics pieces. That's fascinating. It's like a little bit of, it's like a little bit of display here of, uh, oh, it actually, it even seems like the bag is part of this prop. This is the kind of like institutional like background stuff that happens in movies all the time that you almost never see. Okay, so let's start uh, unpacking the, the costume bits. We've got a pair of futuristic tactical boots here. There's that. We've got a, uh... okay, so We've got an under jacket and a vest. And I was right, it's a very tactical kind of vest. And then I'm gonna guess that these are pants. That's really cool. And again, you know, what's funny is, while this may sort of some, have some of the shine of leather, um, it's in fact a waxed canvas. Um, when you look at it up close, you can see that it's cloth, not leather. Um, I would guess that's most certainly done for both expense and actor comfort. We have some gloves. Uh, clearly, I'm going to be wearing this in just a few minutes. Ah, this is Saito's costume. Tactical boots, tactical gloves, belt, pants. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm sitting here curious about... Nice military belt. Okay, I'm curious about what is really heavy here, so I'm going to... I'm imagining this might be a sidearm. Yep, yep, it is some kind of a sidearm. Oh, wow. Wow. And it's a full, <laughs> a full folding stock. Um, I can see that this is a semi, a semi finished casting. Like I can see some mold flash around this is a single piece of resin, actually two pieces. One is the folding stock and the other is the rest. That is awesome. That is a beautiful piece. Yeah. All right, there's that. Okay. And then, oh, more boots, more boots. Or shoes of some kind. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Size six. Yeah, those are just a, those are gonna be a tiny bit small for me. Ah, okay, so this is a Hanka Technician's outfit with the red boots and the red surgical gloves and the red scrubs. Oh, that is really cool. This is, this is a neat. Oh, 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 wow. That is really cool. Also, this material is something I have never seen before. It's like soft and suede and yet plastic. Very cool. Nothing in the pockets. Okay. 
Here we go. I'm gonna fold this back up. And we have this last bag of stuff. Let's see here, what do we got? Oh, 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 these are like the, 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 this is like the huffing drugs that the Yakuza are, are smoking. Okay, this is the huffing mask. And so is this, I'll wager, because it's the same shape. Oh man. Again, this is kind of just another object lesson in how much wow, detail goes into these things. Just amazing, right? Look at how beautiful that is. That is a gorgeous piece. What do you think? Should I go with the nose ring? This is how you figure it out. Okay, there's that. These are all these different, these aren't real. <laughs> Even though it actually smells like strawberries. I'm not kidding. This is labeled with little pictures of strawberries with knives through them. And when I smell this, it smells like strawberries. Could that be confirmation bias? Or is that just like really awesome extra work from the prop department? I'm gonna guess the latter. Okay, so there's that. And then there's one more piece in here to complete our uh, Ah, right, 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 right. That's what happens. This comes in here. Yes, and this comes in here. They, right, they pop in there. So you're all like, you're all like. <sighs> That's in the movie. I'm not actually huffing any real drugs. Now I'm going to put it on. Just give me a second. <sighs> all right. This is actually really, really cool to put this on. You know, um, for a film like this, I believe that all of these are custom pieces made by production, which makes them all the more remarkable, right? Because not only does the wardrobe department have to hand make everything, they've got to tell a story with it, and then the actors have to wear this stuff all day, every day. And they have to be comfortable in it, because if they're not, it's a nightmare. Um, and this actually, while looking like heavier leather or ballistic nylon or some futuristic fabric, is actually quite a lightweight, uh, like I said, waxed canvas with pockets everywhere. I mean, all this quilting and separate seaming is really nicely done. And the vest, the tactical vest, which I'm about to complete the outfit with, looks like it'll tie it all together. Yeah. So there you have it. This is an awesome, awesome box from Prop Store. We had lab technicians outfit with the top and the bottom boots and the gloves. We had some futuristic drug, drug huffing paraphernalia and Saito's original costume, which I have to say looks badass and has some beautiful details weaved all the way through it. Top notch on the art department on this. Remember Prop Store of London's auction for Ghost in the Shell is live right about now, I think.